speaker talking out of both sides of his mouth when he speaks like that, though, because uh, he's adding a little, uh, a little uh, caveat of his own to the potential expansion of the Elliot Larson Civil Rights Act, isn't he? Well, yeah, uh, but, you know, he doesn't have to bring up the issue at all. I, I think he's trying to find a compromise on the issue, quite frankly, and thinks that this is something that maybe uh, could pass the sniff test on both sides of the aisle. But I think, you know, his attempt to find a compromise on an issue that really isn't compromisable is, um, you know, maybe it's too uh, wishful thinking here. You know, will his caucus end up supporting anything that expands the Elliott Larson Civil Rights Act? And, and even if they do, even if they do support his compromise, will it be accepted by uh, the public, the media? It's certainly not accepted uh, by folks who are supportive of an expansion that includes the trans, uh, transgender com community. Um, yeah, I, I think that's yet to be seen. Could you simplify it for us? Uh, uh, the expansion of the Elliot Larson Civil Rights Act, as I understand it, means when you're hiring someone or letting them rent your apartment or whatever, you can't discriminate based on their sexual orientation. That's what the expansion would include already. It includes what? Uh, gender and age and weight and all that sort of stuff, right? Yeah, yeah, and race and so forth. Yeah. Okay. So, it just, so it just says that when you're renting or you're selling homes or you're hiring and firing, yeah, you can't discriminate uh, based on those things. And um, uh, the proposal would include sexual orientation to that, okay. but it wouldn't include uh, gender identity, which would include the transgendered community. And speaker, the Speaker Bolger's uh, version also includes religion then? Yeah, it, 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 there is a separate bill that would create a state-wide um, law that kind of encompasses is what I guess the federal law is, uh, basically saying that if there's something, uh, you can't be forced to do something your religion um, oh. specifically prohibits you from doing. So, yeah, the example he gave during this press conference today is the infamous baker who's asked to bake a cake for, the, uh, for a, a gay wedding. Um, he can't deny those people the service of baking a cake, but uh, he shouldn't be forced to have to attend the wedding if he doesn't believe that it's within... Oh his religion to do so. So he, that, that really is, it's not exactly hand in glove to go along with the uh, Elliot Larson. It's a little bit of an apple and an orange, but he's looking for a pound of flesh for his participation, yeah? Yeah, uh, I think he's looking for Republican votes is what he's looking for, <laughs> quite frankly. Okay. I, mean, I mean, that's the part of the compromise here, right? So if he's going to get some Republicans to sign off on expanding Elliot Larson, then he needs this too, but... Um, okay. It doesn't look like that folks in the, on the Democratic side are all that interested in playing that. All right, Kyle Malin, you can read it for yourself, mirsnews.com. Thank you very much for the insight and for the hard work in that publication.